Good morning, this is Mike Switzer with the South Carolina Business Review. South Carolina is home to many inventors and entrepreneurs who are successfully taking their patented inventions to market. Two such entrepreneurs are Bud Doty and Rob Turkowitz, inventors of the Whirly Bird Repeller and owners of Whirly Bird Solutions in Charleston, South Carolina. Bud, Rob, good morning. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mike. Bud, first of all, why don't you start with a description of the Whirly Bird Repeller? Well, the Whirly Bird Repeller, as it suggests, is a bird repeller that repels birds from docks, boats, marinas, uh, navigational aids, vineyards, towers, and other areas where uh, nuisance uh, birds uh, congregate. Now, where'd you come up with this idea? Do you, do you have a boat that uh, birds were bothering? I definitely had a boat that birds were bothering, but uh, Rob and I, we kind of like to get together over at Bowens Island and kind of brainstorm. And in fact, we kid with the uh, the owner over there, uh, Robert Barber, that uh, Bowens Island was sort of the incubator of our idea. Rob and I both have docks with major bird problems. We both tried other bird repelling options, such as uh, the fake snakes, owls, and all these uh, electronic devices. Most bird repellers don't work because birds become acclimated and sort of accustomed to any kind of uh, frightening design or sound. And that's why the fake owls uh, only work for a short time. Uh, in order to effectively repel birds, you need a combination of spins, wobbles, and vibrations in the wind. Uh, the whirly bird uh, is in the shape of a peregrine falcon, and it spins, wobbles, and vibrates in the wind, and it produces a constantly changing sound and vibrations. Uh, it's made with uh, clear UV-resistant plastic, and it has uh, hydrographics, which creates constantly changing reflections. The combination of these conditions repel birds and prevent them from becoming acclimated to a particular location. Well now Rob, has this been tested anywhere? But before you answer that, now I see you brought one with you. I uh, did. A Whirly Bird um, device here. Let's, uh, is there any way you can like maybe put it next to the microphone, let our listeners hear what this thing sounds like when it's whirling? I'll be happy to. Okay, and so this has been tested somewhere? It has. It's actually been uh, tested by the Coast Guard. Coast Guard has a problem with birds on many of its navigational aids. They have solar panels on their aids, which keep the batteries charged. And they were having problems with outages because of the birds on the solar panels. And so they tested the Whirly Bird, and after a 14-month test period, they found that it successfully kept the birds off, and they had absolutely no outages on the worst problems that they had. Uh, so they recently published an article that addresses navigational aids. Uh, it's also been tested by many, many uh, individuals on their docks, on boats, even in a vineyard here locally in, on Wadmala Island. Irvin House Vineyard tested the Whirly Bird. Uh, after two seasons, uh, they concluded that it uh, not only effectively repelled the birds, but it resulted in a 15 to 20 percent higher yield. In fact, um, uh, Jim Irvin, the owner of Irvin House Vineyards, mentioned that as soon as he put the whirly birds out there, the birds scattered. And after he was done harvesting the grapes, he would take the whirly birds and remove them for the next season. And as soon as he did that, the birds came back in force and picked his vineyard clean. Talk about the manufacturing process, Rob. How did, how did you actually get first your prototype and then uh, to where you're mass producing this? We're now on our second generation prototype design. At first, Bud Doty and I would make our whirly birds in our workshops and we would cut them out and it was a time consuming thing, uh, but they worked. And we've been able to come up with a design uh, that can be uh, built commercially at first, we were told by people that if you really want to succeed, you're going to have to manufacture these overseas. And Bud and I just did not want to do that. If we could avoid it, we wanted to have them manufactured in the United States and South Carolina. Uh, we're glad we did because uh, we're now having them manufactured by multi-plastics company in Mount Pleasant. And did the patent come through? It did. We uh, have two patents on it now, and we also have 
an additional patent uh, that's filed. In addition, we have a PCT for international uh, protection. And Bud, how much does a Whirly Bird repeller cost? Ooh, Mike, I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> they, they sell for thirty nine ninety five each. And Bud, I'm sure you guys have a website where our listeners can learn more. Yes, Mike, we do. www.whirly, W-H-I-R-L-Y, Bird, Repeller. Dot com. Well, Bud, Rob, congratulations on the Whirly Bird Repeller invention, and good luck with everything going forward. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Bud Doty and Rob Turkowitz, inventors of the Whirly Bird Repeller, and they are based in Charleston, South Carolina. With the South Carolina Business Review, this is Mike Switzer.